This episode DIY. I guess they got most of the plumbing. I guess these uh, plastic tubes are actually sewer pipes. I don't know. This yellow tube, it has an electric wire on it. Probably keeps it, uh, you know, grounded. It might be a gas line, a yellow pipe. So they uh, cleaned up quite a bit. Um, uh, the sidewalk when it was cut over here from the last video uh, they covered it up and from what I can see it's just sewer line uh, the gray pipes kind of go underneath that uh, on top of the gray pipe there's a overhanging pipe that's another thing I wanted to show you guys uh, maybe um, and there's more stuff over here on this side which is probably for the other apartments and they all just pretty much, uh, you know, go under the street and then actually connect to a bigger sewer line or something. So, um, they, there's a lot more interesting stuff on the other side. So, I'll show you. so we're walking towards the other side. Um, really cool things. Um, See, there's even like a, a, a nice uh, piece of rock or glass rock. They call it lava rock or glass glass lava or something. Um, pretty cool. They have a lot of wood. They, they have a big old wood pile. You know, they're gonna um, pick all this up and um, do something with it. Nice pipes and stuff. Um, Actually, those pipes, I've seen it at my house. It's actually irrigation type of stuff. Pretty much outdoor drain or something. So here's a good look at some of the concrete wood that they use or wood. Some rebar, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, right here, um, they poured the cement. Today's Sunday, they probably poured it... Uh, remember I actually found a matching dice I found another I found the other dice out here so um I don't know inspection services I guess those are soil samples cement samples um, even the like the rebar sticking out is pretty interesting um they had a special adapter that went through the wood um, you know and all types of things uh, air vents for the sewer lines is what's kind of sticking up higher those provide air to go out through the sewer system so you know there's not a vacuum or blockage they've even got a wooden piece some wooden stuff that's con that's pretty much embedded um, where they need to so so they can um, add the frame to the cement really interesting that um, seeing pretty much the pour kind of shows you where all the wood and the cement pouring was at to make this this cement pour which is interesting I don't know um, the only problem is uh, it's pretty much you know permanent you couldn't you can't really from the inside you can't really change I actually have a, a pipe at my house that's in cement to um, it's towards the back of my house and with pipes going through cement you got to tear up the cement or or actually have a, a good system and, and tool hydraulic press tool maybe a motor to really pull it out and then um, push it back in on a new one if if it were to crack or leak um, most of the, the pipes you know and when you build construction and things it lasts for a hundred years, you know, there's some houses that are a hundred years old, you know, but they have access to, um, it just depends, you know, how it was built. Um, 
you know, like my house, I have access to underneath most of all my plumbing except for that one pipe, which is in cement. And um, so I could take you guys down this line. It's 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 pretty much a good good um pour because you saw the stilts and things, the the rebar, um, the protective uh, rubber mat. Um, there's even this this emergency red line right here, which is pretty much for the sump system, just in case it rains again. A lot of water and and drainage can go out. Is what I'm guessing, or maybe maybe that's just for um, pouring the actual cement too. Maybe there's a um, a better, you know, a. a a, a purpose a, a special purpose or tool for it it's just this rubber brownish um can you know hose or whatnot so this is pretty much one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so the, yeah there's like 12 you know sections um so it's pretty neat that uh and i, I don't know um Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. That cement is pretty good too. It's like real, it looks. Well, what's interesting is the rebar underneath it. I mean, like over there, you can kind of see a lot of rebar. There's probably two layers, so maybe they added but this one only has like one layer of rebar or something. Um, so it's not, a, you know, I've seen a lot stronger, um, more compact rebarring, but I guess this is good enough. Um, you know, yeah, it's pretty much, a lot of concrete and then just not so much a lot of rebar uh, and there's actually stuff on the in between the wall right here this might be a big main wall um, I, I think they call them I forget what they call them but it's like a, a support wall so here's probably one support wall and and basically um, interesting Let's try to, um, then they put a lot of these, these little hinges in there and that's to help, um, straighten out probably, you know, it's probably, um, just to straighten out the, the joist, the floor joist or something, or maybe, um, to add walls, you know, for closet space and things like that. Um, pretty cool. So, there's, um, really interesting. I mean, with all that wood over there, you could probably build a pretty nice shed or something, um, even with the pipes and things. Um, you could reuse them as like, you know, potters and basically, um, so, uh, so I, I think these slabs might be for staircases, you know, it, it's, I think they're going to just add a, a staircase. at a certain point towards um, getting to a second level and I think these raised up areas are are actually for either walls and staircases so yeah they actually um really really uh 
there's even like a big old cement box over there that has all types of connectors that could be um a main you know a big sewer box you never know but one has a little chip at the corner of it i don't know there's more stuff uh the like some of this wood over here could be um taken apart but um they put lines in the cement and things like that to, to keep it more uh crack resistant um surface crack resistant and when they were doing or well, pouring the cement they were smooth really smoothing it out and um and it looks pretty good it, it, you know having a, a nice thick line um it, it also helps with draining water um you know it, it'll slope towards the cement slabs and things so there so there's one on the end right here which is pretty much a, a larger thicker piece so let's let's see what this is happening here what's happening to this area right here and on the very other end there's one just like this so there you see that right there and then all these other ones are pretty much made the same so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two four five six seven eight nine ten so here's kind of another picture so it's pretty much a three-story um which is pretty cool um and then at the very first one at the end over there is actually a, a large slab kind of the same way i think it's it's to um to to add more structure and and um we'll just have to see how it gets really built uh so yeah it, you know if you have one of those uh square pieces of paper with all those little squares in it you could really draw something like this um you know figure out this wall and just because it this is poured and everything it's a good step they gotta do a lot more they're probably gonna do the other side pretty much the same way as this and then some more stuff maybe maybe have a a good driveway to go out through the whole thing from one side to the other which seems pretty cool um it's just uh growing up out here i never really saw much change in this i actually should be walking um maybe six blocks and then they're they're actually taking apart pretty much a warehouse half the size of this probably um half the size as one of these larger uh, or one of these sections um so this section is a little lower than the other one so that's going to be a little that's going to be pretty interesting how how it's going to look and and um do do what it does um so yeah this is pretty much uh construction video number seven six or seven it just depends um it's pretty nice uh you know I, actually when i lived in the house right here on this corner you know um we pretty much we were, we were just three kids and then um like four and then five six adults so it's pretty interesting we we only rented um a lot of stuff is rented rented out in the bay area um renting out seems to seems to be um you know a part of the the, the um planning and then the rest is is pretty much homes and good and bad areas uh, and then some some buildings but it's really hard to work with 
with with some of the people out here because you know time and and health and and things um, are always different. So thanks for watching YouTube. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.